When coal jobs go away, communities feel it. Especially because these jobs are high paying. HBO has been hauled into court over a June 18th broadcast of Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, which covered President Donald Trump's generous treatment of the coal industry. Now, the case has attracted a very funny amicus brief from the ACLU. In a complaint filed in West Virginia Circuit Court, conservative coal baron Robert Murray alleges his reputation was harmed when Oliver said there was no evidence an earthquake caused a deadly 2007 mine collapse and implied that Murray had lied about it. The lawsuit also cites alleged implications that Murray Energy sacrifices safety and the health of its employees for profits, and takes issue with the refusal of Last Week Tonight to regard information supplied or pointed out by Murray. Now, barely a month old, the defamation lawsuit from the conservative coal baron against the premium cable network has attracted an amicus brief, as a federal judge is set to decide whether to move the case back to state court. And just in case you aren't up on your legal jargon, an amicus brief is a legal document filed by non-litigants with a strong interest in the subject matter. Just call me Elle Woods. But this isn't just any brief. It's the hilarious handiwork of the ACLU's Jamie Lynn Crofts. One quote that stands out, it is apt that one of plaintiff's objections to the show is about a human-sized squirrel named Mr. Nutterbutter, because this case is nuts. Which also begs the question, is Mr. Nutterbutter one of the 50 Doe defendants included in this action? Other interesting quotes, anyone can legally say eat shit, Bob. And all of John Oliver's speech was protected by the First Amendment. You can't sue people for being mean to you, Bob. It even includes a photo of Dr. Evil next to Murray Energy's general counsel. To read the full court document, check out THR.com and be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News and I object! <laughs> okay, my Lily Blonde moment's over.